Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, your oracle cards are awesome today. Somebody here is destined for some big success, okay? Um, this reading is for the collective, so it may not be for all of you. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, okay? And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. The likes, subscribes, comments... Um, and I'm getting another message too that people need to that I feel like respect is being put on your name okay because of what you're doing out here people are seeing um, people are seeing your worth they're seeing your value they're seeing that you really truly are destined for some big success um, or you could be already in that energy because I feel like people are um, needing to respect your name okay that's the message i'm getting you guys you could have your own public platform um oh look at you coming out in empress energy you know what people are mad but they've got to respect you okay i feel like these are people that like want to keep their back turned but look at you're out here having this victory and this is justice yeah I feel like people need to put some respect on you for what you're doing, all that you've accomplished. And there's a lot of people out here who are celebrating you, Cancer. Yep, and they, you know what? The ones who have to respect you, they're not liking it at all. But here's the thing. I feel like for a lot of you, the divine has put you in the public eye for a reason, okay? It was to teach these people a lesson. Whoever's been... Um, dragging your reputation through the mud i feel like they're all being told to stop that now okay and to watch and pay attention and learn some lessons here they're all under judgment and i feel like whatever you've been talking about cancer or whatever you've because you're out here speaking your truth you could just be telling your story about the things that have happened to you and all that you've learned from it you could be out here rec like receiving messages from the divine and delivering them to others, a light worker energy, okay? But um, you're being honest about everything you always have. I feel like even in times of struggle, you really embraced it. You didn't hide it. You know what I mean? And now you're not hiding the fact that you're... Um, you're becoming abundant, you're becoming successful, you're making these huge accomplishments that no one's ever seen anybody make before. Um, you're doing things that no one's ever witnessed before from anyone else. And you're intuitive here, picking up on intuitive messages and whatever you're talking about, it's spot on. Okay, that's just the feeling I'm getting. You know, I feel like these people literally hate the fact that they have to respect you now but they do because they're all under judgment and they're all being told to to i feel like they're being told to shut up about you and pay attention to what you're talking about okay pay attention to your premonitions they people need to pay attention to your predictions and the messages um yeah i feel like you're it's almost like you're being put on some kind of pedestal or something out here Clarify this page of wands. Yeah, that's all the truth. I feel like these people, now they're looking at you seeing the truth. You're, you're, as you speak your truth and give these messages out or whatever it is that you're doing, you know, you, you could be whatever it is that you've spoken about, whatever it is that you've predicted, it's all happened just the way you said and i feel like although people hate it they don't want to concede they don't want to stop trash talking your name they are being told to knock it off sit down pay attention and watch as the divine um, puts you in a seat of enormous success uh these people they're they're just learning i feel like they're this is, it feels like baby steps to me. Yeah, look, there's that pedestal. I knew it. I could feel it, Cancer. Um, 
Yeah, they're respecting you even though they don't really want to, okay? <laughs> These are people who are very immature, but I feel like you have something to teach people out here and you're doing it. Yeah, um, this is being in the public, I, ooh, especially with the star. Yes, Cancer. Uh, with the star and you being put on a pedestal by the divine, these people have no choice but to respect your energy. They need to respect what you do. I mean, it may be at one point um, they didn't, you know, they all underestimated you or they could have said you were crazy or they could have said that you didn't know what you were talking about or something. But, um, yeah. Uh, you're being put in the public eye for a reason. It's because you're a light worker. It's because you've got something to show and, and teach others. And um, they can't deny it anymore. It's, you know, I feel like they were all in denial. Like, cancer's not who she, sa who, who she says she is. Or um, cancer's never going never gonna to amount to much. Cancer's not going to be going anywhere. Oh, no, cancer, you're the world and the star out here. Um, and for every, look at, look at it this way, you've got a handful of haters compared to 8 billion people in the world that you could be reaching with your messages, especially if you work online or you're putting things out on social media. I feel like you're extremely intuitive, your light worker energy here, and these people, um, They need to put down the trash talk. I feel like no more talking about cancer, okay? Look at how jealous and envious they are. Um, and whatever it is that you're doing, um, it's stirring up all of their emotions here. Some of them love what you're doing, cancer, and they don't want to admit it, okay? They're jealous. They're, they're envious. They, they want to plan, plot, and strategize against you, you know, this is somebody who may be spreading the gossip about you. There's a lot of talk about you. I, I feel like you're a household name in your community. Like all of these people, I feel, are talking smack about you, but they can't anymore. The divine is telling them to shut up, pay attention, go ahead and watch cancer succeed and grow every step of the way. Look at this. They're upset. They're jealous. They're angry. But here's the thing. You make people see things from a whole new perspective. You make people see things differently. Or you make them look at themselves. And that's where this anger comes in, right? Um, but all they're seeing here is you look at this is you being destined for big success right here. Whatever it is that um, you're working on, whatever it is that you're talking about, Anything online that you may be doing, um, it's bringing you all of this success. And you've worked, you've worked so hard to grow this. Okay, this takes time, effort, energy, and focus. Okay, while all these people were talking smack about you, trying to ruin your reputation, being jealous, uh, projecting things onto you about, about themselves, you've been working on building something um, that's become very abundant. You've transformed your whole entire life. And these people are watching it. Okay? They don't want to respect you, but it's also, it's almost like the divine is, they, they have to. They have to. Because everything you said now has happened. All your predictions have come true just the way you said they were, they would. It's your, it's your intuition, right? And you're getting your justice. The scales are being balanced. Basically, what these people are witnessing is the divine changing your life. Okay? I feel like all of these people in your community have gone against you, Cancer. But when they went against you, it's like they went against God because they went against a light worker. You know, when they make fun of you and your messages, they're, they're, they're making fun of, them, of God's messages that you're receiving. And the divine won't let that happen anymore. They're telling these people literally to shut up about, you know, trash-talking cancer, sit down and pay attention to the messages. Okay? Um, they have to respect you.
for what it is that you're doing. I feel like these people are in awe. That's where the jealousy is, you know? If you weren't doing anything out here, Cancer, they wouldn't be jealous of you. If you weren't making these major accomplishments, they wouldn't be upset. You know? They have to look upon this with some kind of respect, even though they hate it. Yeah, yeah and I feel like some of them, they're being told, you know, this is the cup of love, faith, um, everything that you believe in at a soul level is in this cup, intuition, messages that you get from the divine. I feel like this is your cup, right? Um, but the divine is saying, you know what, we gave cancer all of this, all of the, these abilities to use for other people, to help other people. And so, you know, the divine wants these people to swallow some of this information as well because it'll help them too. They, ha they haven't been wanting to accept the fact that you're doing well. They don't want to accept the fact that you're actually a real intuitive out here, a true light worker. I feel like you're an earth angel without having the earth angel energy. You're an empress energy with the world card and, um, and the star. Okay, justice and judgment is all around you. It's almost like the divine is protecting you and um, shutting these other people down. You know, they have to respect the messages from the divine. And those messages are going to keep coming. I'm also seeing somebody here who has missed their opportunity with you and may want to communicate. Um, but I feel like everyone out there is jealous and envious of you now. But that jealousy should also come with a little bit of respect here. Okay? That's why they should respect you is everything that you've accomplished, everything that you're putting out there, everything that you've been through and persevered through. Clarify this Knight of Cups for Cancer. I feel like there's a person who wants to return into your life, okay? Um, this could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, heavy on Pisces. It could also be a Leo Aries Sagittarius. I feel like this is coming to an end, though. Um, people from your past that want to come back in, I feel like they can't now. Um, because you're ending, you're closing out a cycle here and you're moving on. Some of you could be moving away to a new location. You could be dealing with, um, yeah, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, see, they're all watching you. This is where this respect comes in, right? I feel like they never thought that you would be this successful. The Queen of Pentacles, she's the most financially stable queen in the deck. But you're coming out as the Empress. All right? Um, everything with the world card. Um, and these people, the, as they watch you, they're watching you grow. They're watching you um, become stable. Yeah, you go from this Cancer, the Five of Pentacles, to this. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay? Okay? And they're amazed by what you're doing. They're jealous at what you're doing. They can't stop watching you. And, and I feel like the criticism um, and the insults and trashing your reputation, it needs to stop here with the Two of Swords and judgment. Um, yeah, and this is, this is plenty reason enough to start putting respect on your name. After everything that you've been put through cancer, you've improved and transformed your whole entire life. All right? Not just with your finances and your business and whatever it is that you're doing, but with you. You know, you have acquired the attributes of every queen in the deck. You know? And, and when it comes to love, somebody would have to find four queens to equal one of you. And they can't even do that because not everybody out here is a light worker. I, I feel like that's what you are here. All right? And so, yeah, they, you know what? These people are burdened. It's, it's like they don't want to respect you, but they have to. 
because you are absolutely correct and you're a mystery here cancer with the moon i feel like you're a moon goddess okay um they don't know how you're doing this well they do but they're having a hard time wrapping their head around it right and the divine is telling them that look cancer's doing this because they're being spiritually led by by the divine you know they don't want to respect you but they have to respect the power that's backing you. Do you see what I'm saying? You're backed by the divine. You're spiritually led. And that's the part they need to respect. And they don't like it. They don't like it. But still they have to do it. Especially with judgment out here. And the two of swords and justice. Yeah, these are people who just really wanted to betray you. Okay? But I feel like um, every time they try to send you bad energy, Cancer, you keep improving. And I feel like they keep watching to see if you'll fail, and you don't. You keep rising, okay, above everybody's expectations of you. Yep, Wheel of Fortune. Here's that destined success, Cancer. <laughs> The Wheel of Fortune's turning in your favor, my darlings. You may start um, feeling really lucky. These people could, could be seeing you as being very lucky or, um, you know, opportunities coming to you that they don't get. They're not getting the same opportunities you're getting because they didn't work on themselves. They were too busy focusing on you and trying to bring you down. Okay. Yeah, look. You're getting all of this money here, big success, and they're losing pentacles, four of pentacles energy. I'm also feeling like these, some of these people don't want to stop trying to betray you. They don't want to, they, it's like they've made it their life focus now is to try to bring you down. And they can't. You're divinely led and protected. I feel like whatever you have built, Cancer, it is solid. You know why? Because you're an earth angel. <laughs> I cannot make it up, you guys. Whatever you, this is a solid foundation here. This is building something along with the divine, okay? You're very balanced out as well in your emotions. You're very peaceful, very calm, extremely intuitive. The divine has put you in the public eye as a speaker for the public. Um, I'm hearing public defender, so maybe you're, you are a public defender, or you could be defending so many other people who have had their heart shattered just like yours, okay? Um, but, you know, you're, you're making these haters look at themselves. Yeah, these came out together. There is somebody here. I feel like these people from the past now, they're seeing your abundance. They're seeing you getting all of these new opportunities. They're seeing the wheel of fortune come in for you and turn for you. Um, this is universal energy. Things happening for you, Cancer. Big changes in your life. Okay. And now some of these people are seeing you as wish fulfillment. But I feel like they only want to come in and take advantage of what you've got. At this point, the people from your past that you've walked away from, um, they can't come back in. I always see this as a giant, heavy metal vault door that's closing shut. But it's turning for you. Okay, yeah, some people, it, some people in your past just want a handout, Cancer. They just want to come in and take advantage of what you've got. And I feel like you're leaving. You're leaving them behind and you're headed towards, look, this is your big success. You're headed towards a ton of pentacles. This ton of pentacles is yours. This could be sudden wealth. I just feel like it's part of your destiny to be successful after everything that you've been through. Okay, like I said, you came from the five of pentacles and now you're going into the Ten of Pentacles. And that's the most you can have in the tarot deck. The Ten of Pentacles, it, it's, it also represents a commitment, something solid, right? And I feel like you're solid already and committed to your path. I'm seeing you as a total light worker here um, with enough faith to change the world. Like for real. 
and there's no way they can stop you. And these people now that want a handout from you, they want um, financial help. These are the same people who betrayed you. Now they want to come in for help. Where were they when, uh, when you were left abandoned? Where were they when you were heartbroken? I feel like no one was there to pick you back up, Cancer, besides the divine. And so that's who you're committed to. You're committed to your spiritual path. And the divine is leading you forward. Yeah. Look. And I feel like, um, honestly, I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is these people's energy. They cannot stop thinking about you. But yet at the, sa at the same time, their hands are tied. Their mouths are shut. They have no other choice, I feel, with judgment and the two of swords, but to put respect on your name. Okay. Because they have to respect the messages that the divine is giving you. And you're backed by the divine. You're led by the divine. Um, and you're moving into your Ten of Cups. Some of you could be moving into a new home, upgrading, right, with the world card out here. All of these opportunities are opening up for you, Cancer. And you're a warrior here. With the Queen of Wands, these people from your past and just life in general has put you through it, okay? You've been through a battle possibly your whole entire life. And um, you're, you're taking your power back, you know? Uh, you're, um, you're driven. And you're not going to be putting up with any more BS from people. All of that is over now, and now it's time for you to get the big success that you were destined for, okay? And these people, I feel like you've been put in the public eye for a reason, not only to teach other people, but to show the haters and the ones that need to learn a lesson, they're, they're being shown your success. These people who backstabbed you, betrayed you, talk crap on your name, this is how the divine is shutting them up. Okay, yeah, they put you through major betrayal. I had the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Yep, and you're an emperor energy here. You're both emperor and empress. You don't need anybody in the energy that you're in. Okay, you're making boss moves. Yeah, these people need to put their sword down. Stop talking smack about you behind your back as they watch you. Look at, look at, they got nothing left to say. Look at that. <laughs> they, I feel like these people are angry, upset, jealous. They don't like respecting you, Cancer, but they have to. And they also have to watch now as you succeed. Okay? They all thought that you would be struggling. Some of these people thought that your ideas were crazy, stupid. Um, they, they made you feel like you were never enough. And the divine is showing them, oh, but wait, Cancer's the whole world. Cancer's a light worker. Cancer's an earth angel. You've got to respect that. Okay? And Cancer, you are destined for big success. This is a huge opportunity or a lot of money. This could be sudden wealth coming to you, especially out here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Your whole life and all of these opportunities are about to open up for you, okay? Also, I feel like it was hidden under these people's noses that you're an earth angel. They had no idea. All, all of the illusions are down. Now they can see everything clearly. And man, as they're watching you, it's almost like they got nothing left to say that's bad. They've got to put the sword down. They, they, they can't keep trash talk in your name. You know, the divine won't let them. They're showing them this is a high priestess. This is somebody who's extremely tapped in. You know, uh, somebody who's receiving messages. Cancer, you're a light worker out here. This is a divine being out here. Okay, and all of these people are fighting against it. They're, they're so angry. You're causing a lot of chaos, a lot of drama, but I really feel like all of that is about to die down. I feel like all of all of the chaos, the trash talking your name, 
dragging your reputation through the mud. I feel like it's all about to stop because the divine is telling these people they need to just watch and uh, shut their mouths. They hate the fact that they need to respect you for all that you've created. You know you went from the Seven of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles, the Empress and the Minor Arcana. You went from somebody that they thought would always be in peasant clothing with an empty basket, having nothing. They ridiculed your ideas. And you took this idea, and whatever your, your skills and abilities are, you took it to Empress Standing. All right? They thought that you were nothing, Cancer, with the Five of Pentacles out here, and you ended up being a high priestess and an earth angel. These people are being sat down to learn a lesson. They're being shut up from um, trash-talking your reputation, and the divine is making them put respect on your name. Yes, they are. Um, let's see what your advice is. Okay, and then I'm going to take this into the extended, you guys. I want to see what happens next, especially I want to do a little love reading because there's a person in here, I feel, who may be in love with you, Cancer, and may want another chance. So we're just going to do a quick love reading over on Patreon for you here. But this is all about you gaining the respect of your haters. And they hate that more than anything. They didn't want to give you respect ever. Yeah, people are seeing you're truly blessed. People are seeing that you're a master manifester. Whatever you're, you're wishing for and thinking about, it's, com it's coming to you. Okay? You may wonder, too. I feel like you know everybody is watching you, Cancer, observing you. Um... You may wonder why they're still doing that. Like, why? It's because they have to. The divine is showing them. It's part of your justice and vindication. And it's part of these people learning a lesson. So they have to keep watching you, okay? Um, I feel like, too, they're watching you get all the answers here very mysteriously, okay? This is all a mystery to them, how you do what you do. How are you doing this? Why do you get to be so abundant? Why do you get to be destined for success? You know, they, these people treated you like you were nothing. I'm telling you. And you're about to be very happy, Cancer, because it's your turn to be happy. I feel like it's your time, okay? And you're out here with truth be told. I feel like this is you speaking your truth, right? In the public eye. The, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. It's time for you to be on this path, in this job, in whatever it is that you're doing for the divine. Okay, this was all destined, my darlings. And people are seeing what you're worth. They're seeing where you're headed in life. And I'm telling you, they've got to put respect on your name for everything that you have built and for everything that you've been through. Okay, but get ready for peace because like I said, I feel like, I feel like all the trash talking about you is about to be over, okay? The divine doesn't want to allow that anymore. So yeah, it's, expect a, a nice, it's going to feel like a breath of fresh air. You're going to feel that energy lifting and it's going to um it, it's going to be time for peace in your life. Okay? But these people will have to continue to watch you move forward. They're going to have to continue to watch you become even more abundant and successful in the future because that's part of that's part of their progress, okay? That's the divine's way of teaching these people a lesson and showing them that if you follow um, a path with the divine and you surrender to the divine, the divine will take you um, to the kind of life that you're about to enter here. You know, there, you're out here basically, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? 
you're showing people that spirit is real. You're a walking testament. That's what I want to say. You're a walking testament that the divine is real and can, and can work miracles and wonders in your life. Not only does this teach these people a lesson, but it opens their minds to the divine. Okay? And so, yeah, you're, um, you're a very important instrument um, that the divine is um, kind of using to help awaken other people. Okay? And bring more faith into the world. Your job is so important. And, and it, you were destined for this. You know? So yeah, Cancer, get ready for this big success and get ready for this time of peace. Um, finally, I feel like people are going to have to um, shut up and put respect on your name, okay? Sorry, Cancers. Anyway, my darlings, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. And if you're interested in checking into this love situation that's in here, um, seeing what's going on with this person from your past. I'll be over at Patreon in like 40 minutes, okay? <laughs> Give me time to do the video. Anyway, my darlings, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, Cancer, take care of you and peace out.